School is a chance for high school students around the Golden Triangle area to check out historically black colleges and universities in Mississippi and beyond. WCBI's Chad Groning has more. Northside Christian Church in West Point hosted an HBCU fair with representatives from over a dozen historically black colleges and universities. Students were able to find out about financial aid and national and local scholarships. They were also able to get assistance with online applications and information on Greek life. Sherelle Drake spearheaded the event. HBCUs were created for African Americans, and often because of the area in which we live, students are not introduced to those schools. So we pretty much know EMCC, Mississippi State, Ole Miss, ICC, but our church family wants to take the opportunity to show children that there are options outside the Golden Triangle area. Vince Davis is a church member and attended two HBCU schools in the state of Ohio. The historically black colleges and universities uh, was advantageous to me, first of all, because um, they just showed me uh, a lot about my history. Um, I was allowed to gain a lot of information um, and it just uh, built, helped build me up so that when I did graduate, I was able to uh, go out into the society and be a successful person. An HBCU school sold the idea of developing personal relationships between students and faculty. Alcorn takes the time, the energy, and the effort and invests in each person individually. You're not just a number. You're not just a social security number. You, they invest in you, and they invest in your entire family regardless of what they're studying, but to make sure that they have the help and the nurturing environment that they need in order to succeed. Um, a lot of times class ratio, um, most HBCUs, a lot of times student-teacher ratio is very important. I know at our school it's 1 to 16, but also we have programs put in place for it to help them matriculate as they throughout their college years. I think that HBCUs have always been the elasticity and the vocal, uh, the, the, the focal point of any educational uh, emphasis. So that's one of the reasons why I think that some of these students should start choosing the HBCUs um, because at the HBCU, you're, uh, you're, you're your name, not a number. Chad Groening, WCBI News, West Point. Well, the church's parking lot was made into a tailgating experience for the prospective students.